Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Trish and today I'm going to be cooking some um, stew lima beans. If this is your first time viewing, thank you so much for choosing to view. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming again. So first I'm going to rinse my lima beans. And these are the dried large lima beans. All right. And then I'm going to be soaking it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar for about six hours. All right, so now I'm soaking some quinoa and brown rice together. And the ratio for quinoa to brown rice is more, right? So you wanna make sure that you do soak it rather well so that um, the quinoa will release all of that um, enzyme that makes it so bitterish sometimes. So I'm giving it a good rinse and then I'm gonna set it aside alongside my um, beans. No, it's been six hours and so I'm rinsing it. I'm going to rinse rather well until the water runs clear. All right. All right, so now I have it in my instant pot and I'm adding enough water just to leave about an inch of water above where the um, quinoa levels out in the pot. I'm adding a quarter of a red onion and a little bit of salt and also um, some biryani masala just for extra flavor, which is optional, by the way. I'm going to be cooking this on the rice setting for 15 minutes. All right, so now I'm rinsing my lima beans that have been soaking for six hours. And as you can see, as they soak, they became pretty rough and um, um, not ugly, but, you know, unsightly. If you should serve it this way, maybe. But after it cooks up, they do relax. And so that's okay. So now here I'm chopping some tomatoes that I had on the freezer. And I know a lot of people are afraid of storing their tomatoes on the freezer from the garden um, because they think it might be hard to chop up. But look at this. This has only been sitting on my counter straight from the freezer for about five minutes and they're chopping up rather easily. Now what I'm trying to do here is make my own sauce. You can use store-bought sauce, pasta sauce, tomato sauce if you like. And I'm also going to be slicing up some carrots. These are two medium carrots. I'm not going to be adding this to the sauce, um, to, the, to the blender to make the sauce, but I'm going to be adding it to the sauce as it cooks. Also have some fresh cilantro, and I also am gonna. I'm also gonna be adding some fresh um, basil that I sent my little helper to the garden to fetch for me. Okay, so now I'm loading up my little ninja blender with my fresh cilantro, um, chopped tomatoes, and onions. An onion, right? And that was about a quarter of um, a red onion. And there I added my um, fresh basil. So now I'm going to be adding some warm water. I'm going to be adding enough water all the way, to go all the way up to the um, where my tomato stops in the blender. I'm going to cover. And blend. 
Now I'm going to blend um, just long enough for everything to be combined, but I'm not going to blend it until it's smooth, smooth, you know. I like to see the little chunks of veggies in there. All right, so in my skillet, I have two tablespoons of um, grass-fed butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. You can also add um, goat milk ghee um, or any kind of ghee. Um, this does kick this sauce up a notch, in my opinion. Now I'm allowing it to simmer. I'm adding some bay leaf, some crushed bay leaf, um, some crushed coriander seeds, a little bit of, literally a pinch of celery seeds, and some crushed um, fenugreek seeds. I'm adding some all-purpose seasoning, which is pretty much a blend of herbs. All right, I'm adding a good um, amount, maybe a tablespoon and a half, a heaping tablespoon. And I'm going to blend everything and allow it to um, simmer just a little bit. Right, allowing the flavors to marry. on medium heat all right now I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt you want to add a little bit at a time for some reason this dish gets salted rather easily so just add a little bit of salt at a time and that little bit that I added was just enough all right now I'm adding my sliced um, carrots you can add whatever vegetables you want. You can add egg, chopped eggplants, um, sugar snap peas, okra, um, whatever vegetables you like or have on hand, you can add here. Now I'm just going to allow the carrots to cook. And I'm going to add my secret ingredient, which is no longer a secret, two tablespoons of peanut butter. You can also add almond butter if um, that's what you like, but you will not get that nice flavor from the peanut butter that you'll get here. right? But it will thicken things up a little bit and, of course, add a little bit of protein to the dish. right? But peanut butter, yes, that does a nice little trick to the um, flavor. I tasted it and it was perfect. Now this sauce is pretty much ready. Right? Um, here is my rice and quinoa blend that has been um, cooked. I'm just fluffing it with my fork, getting it a little bit aerated to keep the the, the, um, the grains separated. Now I'm going to cook my beans. So I've added it to my instant pot. And I'm going to add a little bit of water, just enough to cover um, right to the top of where the um, lima bean stands in the pot. You don't want to add too much water because then it, it cooks and gets too soft and starts to fall apart. I'm adding a little bit of salt, some organic adobo, and a bunch of um, rosemary, dried rosemary. I'm going to put it on the bean setting, which is about eight minutes, only because it's been soaked so well. Here's my rice, and I did go ahead and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. You can also use coconut oil. I went ahead and I added my cooked beans to my sauce, and I'm just gonna stir it in and allow it to simmer for a little bit before I add any uh, more of the um, bean broth to it, right? And that's the water that the beans were cooked in, making sure that everything simmers and I have enough um, gravy right before I um, add any more of that broth that broth is also ready so um, pouring it on here doesn't require any more cooking all right so after it simmered I decided to add the broth and so I did that and then I added a cup of um, frozen sweet peas I actually should have added two cups right and so this is ready I pretty much turned the stove off and served it up and um, here's a finished dish. I hope you enjoy it and you'll try it.